Hi, Barry Harper here from Back Pain 360 and Kinesis Clinic. Today I'm gonna to show you four stretches or exercises that are absolutely ideal for the cervical thoracic junction or the CT junction. This is the area at the base of the neck where we have sometimes this forward head posture. We can develop a dowager's hump or this kind of raised area at the back of the neck. It can be quite difficult to stretch unless someone gets hands on or tries to stretch it out for you. But these four exercises are very, very kind of specific to this area and really can help you kind of adjust that posture, get the shoulders back in place and get the head to retract and alleviate some of the tension through there. It's called the YWL stretch. And the reason why is because we create a Y shape with our hands up in the air, a W and then an L. So there are starting positions. With the Y shape, when our hands go up into the air, when our hands are in that, we imagine that we're trying to squeeze our shoulder blades or scapula back. So the best thing I try and do is envisage I've got like a walnut or something between my shoulder blades and I'm trying to kind of crush that in that position. So if my hands are up and I squeeze those shoulders back, my hands are slowly coming back beyond my head. So I'm not just kind of going to here and here. I'm literally trying to get them back as far as I can into that position. If I can repeat that and hold for six seconds, it feels a really nice stretch as I go into that position. I can then go down into the W position and I can repeat. It gets a little bit easier as I go down because I can actually bring my elbows back a lot further now and retract those shoulder blades back in hold for six seconds and release. And I can repeat that up to six times. And then from that position, I can drop down into the L position. So once again, I can squeeze back as tight as I can, hold for six seconds and then release. So going from Y to W to L is a really, really nice way of getting those, the uh, pecs at the front to retract, but also gets my head, my upper kind of back to retract as well and starts to turn on some of those muscles that help pull back and retract those scapula of the shoulder blade, giving me an upright postural position. I can then use a wall for the fourth part of the stretch. If I take my left hand and reach as high as I can, when I'm in that position, I'm quite close to the wall, maybe about a foot or so from the wall. And in that position, I'll look as far as I can over my left shoulder and I'll feel a pull all the way down into my neck. And then I'll do the same exactly onto the right, looking back over on that side and back down again. And I can repeat that stretch up to six times. So just remember going through the four exercises again, we've got the Y, so you're pulling back as far as you can. You've got the W, pulling back as far as you can. You've got the L, pulling back as far as you can, followed by the exercise where the hand goes onto the wall, reach as high as you can when you're in that position, looking over the shoulder and likewise over that shoulder on the opposite side. Give it a go, it's a really nice exercise. It's something you need to be consistent with. So you have to do this on a regular basis. I find if you try and do these exercises every day, six of each, try it for about three to four weeks, you will see a noticeable change in that kind of upper thoracic area and where that cervical spine, that neck meets that thoracic area. Your head will retract, you'll have better posture, your shoulders will retract, and you'll find that you've just got a lot less pain. So hope it works out. Let me know how you get on and I'll catch you on the next one.